covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. The UK Advertising Authority has put a stop to those pin puzzle ads, arguing that the frequent advertising misrepresents the gameplay of each title. The Advertising Standards Authority regularly weighs in what does and doesn't fly for game advertisements in the UK, meaning it's important for game developers to keep up with the authority's decisions in order to ensure their own ads don't end up on the chopping block. The PlayRix ads in the ASA's crosshairs this time around might be familiar to anyone that regularly dabbles in mobile free-to-play games or scrolls, scrolls through social media. Each depicts a puzzle that requires players to slide a variety of pins in a certain order to save a cartoonish character from certain doom. Only as the ad regulator points out, the gameplay seemingly featured in those advertisements is nothing close to what's actually found in the bulk of the Match 3 games they're advertising. The complaint itself sprung out of two particular Facebook advertisements, one for homescapes and one for gardenscapes that followed the pin-pulling format and aimed to lure would-be players with phrases like, only 5% can solve this and think you can do better, among others. In response to ASA's investigation, Playrix argued that the puzzle shared thematic, thematic similarities with the gameplay and narrative players could expect in the actual games. The ASA, however, isn't having it, making it clear that those who click the ad and install the app are expecting gameplay that reflects what is shown in the ad. The authority has decreed that Playrix's ads are misleading despite Playrix's inclusion of a disclaimer that not all images represent actual gameplay. The offending advertisements can no longer run in the UK, and Playrix has been told to ensure their future ads actually represent the gameplay of the titles they are linked to. Hopefully we'll see these annoying false ads stopped in other regions as well. I, I like that the UK authority has gotten in on this because this type of ad has driven me nuts for a while now. <laughs> Anyone else seen this? Like, Anyone else fallen for it? I see them all the time, but I find that YouTube is, per or not YouTube, sorry, Facebook is particularly bad for false advertisements. Like so many computer or um, app games that I see, they're like, oh, check out this you know, this is the game, you gotta play it. And it's not the game, it's it's video from all. another video game. Isn't that nuts? It's Well, it's almost like they've created like a video yes. animation. Uh, I don't know if you've fallen for this, I actually installed the game when the ads started. Oh, okay. Because I thought, oh, that looks really fun. Yes. The ads make it look really, really fun. The game was nothing. Nothing. Nothing, Nothing like, like it. Yeah. What the ad showed. And in fact, it was like a really bad topographical kind of like war simulation. Yeah. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, absolutely. Completely misleading. I, it's unfortunate, though, that it's only the UK authority that's gotten in on this. I think. Well, I don't know that it is, but I mean, the UK. Well, as far as the ruling. That's, yeah, that's yeah. what we're hearing, anyways. That's what's breaking the news right now. I hope that it, it catches all across the globe because these kind of ads drive me nuts. Oh, yes. And and as as a father whose kids are now getting into apps and games, yeah. they see these ads and they're like, "Ooh, dad, I want to download that. I want to play it." Yeah. But I'm now questioning going is what they're seeing actually the game. Yeah. And and that makes me think, I mean, it's good that the authority is putting their foot down because if like where's the line? Yeah. If if they are allowed, if they were allowed to post these ads, that are completely not what they're advertising. What, what's the line? What could it be that my kids are actually installing? And I say my kids, because that's the example that yeah. you use, but I mean, it annoyed me. Yeah. Because I was laying there on the couch thinking, this looks cool, I'm gonna install this. Could you imagine know. if we advertise as a tech show on Cat5, but really we're a car show? I couldn't imagine that, Jeff. Like, that would just drive you all nuts. You tune in, it's like, I've got, got to hear about cryptocurrency. To be fair, no. we Trim. have Linux tech show and people say, why are you talking about Windows? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So to be fair. But those are close enough. <laughs> yes. Well. But yeah, I, 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 false advertising for apps and games has gotten so crazy. Yeah. There needs to be something done about it. And so yeah. I'm glad to see this story. Me too. Me it's too. good. Big thanks to Roy W. Nash and our community of viewers for submitting stories to us this week. Thanks for watching the Category 5.TV Newsroom. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your tech news with a slight Linux bias. And if you appreciate what we do, become a patron at patreon.com slash category 5. 
from the Category 5.TV Newsroom, I'm Becca Ferguson.